You've heard it said that it's not what you know, but it's who you know. Imagine if your favorite uncle were the owner of Amazon or of Microsoft. Imagine if it was your sister who became a famous Hollywood celebrity, or your brother became the world's most famous athlete, or imagine your best friend became the president of the United States of America. By knowing these people in high places, you would certainly reap some benefits. You would enjoy some things that common people don't get to enjoy. How much more so is it for us as Christians, especially as we consider our Lord's ascension to the right hand of God? Who do you have sitting at God's right hand right now interceding for you? You have your brother, your savior, the one who loves you so much that he was willing to go to the cross and die for you. And now he is in this position of authority. He is overseeing all things and he is at work for your good. As we hear in Romans chapter 8, verse 34, who is the one who condemns? Christ Jesus, who died, and more than that was raised to life, is the one who is at God's right hand and who is also interceding for us. That gives us such comfort and peace in life. We have our loving Savior who lived for us in our place. He earned righteousness that we needed to have. He earned it for us. He shares it with us. He took all of our sins upon Himself. He had them nailed with Him upon the cross. He rose from the dead victorious for you and for me to show that He is a keeper of His promises. And where is He now? He's not visibly present among us anymore, but He has ascended to God's right hand. And there He is overseeing. He is watching over you. He is interceding on your behalf before God. So when things in life start to become worrisome, when you start to find yourself in trouble or in fear, what comfort you can have knowing that your Savior has ascended to the right hand of God, our brother, our Lord Jesus, who understands what life is like here in this world. He understands sorrow. He wept at the tomb of Lazarus, his friend. He understands injustice. He suffered it himself. He understands pain. He underwent all that as well. So when you and I face these things, we can turn to Him. He is at work for our good, interceding for our behalf and for us on our behalf at the right hand of God. And we pray, thank you, Lord, for sending to the right hand and continue to be with us, overseeing us and our lives. We pray this all in your name. Amen. God's peace be with you. We encourage you to share peace devotions with your friends and family. If you would like to help produce more devotions, you can donate at els.org donate.